I don't know how you built the cabin in which you live, but I know you built it with your bones and skin and the blood that sleeps deep inside of you now. I know that you live in this cabin made of you. When I look in your eyes, I can see that even when the windows are open and the lights are on, there is darkness inside. There aren't enough lights inside of you to keep the darkness quiet. It's a noisy darkness. And even though I've never heard your voice, I can hear the darkness singing inside of you. It's not heavenly. God's not there for you now. He is not interested. Even though it's tiresome to be the reason that so many feel brave and unleash their tongues, there certainly is a part of you that wants him to notice. I don't know if you're religious. I'm not talking about religion. I'm talking about God. I'm talking about the center of something. I'm talking about finally evicting the darkness from your cabin, letting the light come home. Darkness has grabbed your smile and bent your lips and smashed your eyes to stones. It's an ugly tenant and it doesn't leave. It squats. And you can be the envy of the sun for as long as you like. But the sun only admires you from afar. You're blurry. He looks at you and thinks that he would love to be your friend. Or make love to you. Or sing duets with you at karaoke bars. But the sun knows there is no approach. There is no sidewalk. There is no front door. There are windows that are open. But they are broken. And they are jagged and to climb through them is dangerous, and so you don't. You stay stuck inside your cabin made from bones and the sticky blood of your heart. It is a shelter that will eventually tear you apart. But for now, it holds you still. You're a slave, a model who can't move because the artist needs to recreate every naked inch of you. And that takes so much time.